Now at 11, a deadly mass shooting at a house party. So it wasn't because I threw a party, because I didn't throw a party. But tonight, a bizarre twist to the tragedy. The homeowner has ties to a notorious Miami cult and founded another group. I'm black, it's up. We've seen him in the background. I love the signs behind me. But tonight, he's the one making headlines. I hope they catch the guy. Well, according to witnesses, there were 60 to 80 people at the house when shots were fired. Four people were shot. And tonight we're learning more about the man who lives in the house where the large gathering happened. CBS 4's Joel Walvin is live in North Miami-Dade with more on this story. Joel. Jim and Elliot, Miami-Dade police do in fact say that a 22-year-old was here late Easter Sunday. Three others were wounded and now we're learning some facts about the person who lives here. Maurice Simonette describing what he heard went down moments before a murder inside his home Easter Sunday. Two kids come by, they have an argument, according to what people say, and it was over a, a, a phone. Two white kids, from what I understand. I hope they catch the guy. Simonette himself, it turns out, has a colorful past, often referring to himself as Michael the black man while attending former President Trump's rally. Even getting within feet of then President Trump on election night. Simonette telling us he's the founder of Blacks for Trump, eliciting praise from Trump himself. I love the signs behind me. Blacks for Trump. I like those signs. Simonette, though, has been labeled a controversial and inflammatory conspiracy theorist, once even heckling President Obama, claiming he was endorsed by the KKK. Hold on. And it doesn't end there. On his website, Gods2.com, Simonette once wrote, ISIS and Hillary race war plot to kill all black and white women of America with MS-13. The Democrats, they are the worst thing that happened to the black man. They are the slave masters. According to CNN, 30 years ago, Simonette was acquitted of conspiracy to commit murder, acknowledging he was a member of the Nation of Yahweh, a notorious Miami cult. Chosen to be other than a criminal. With one person shot and killed at his home Easter Sunday and three others wounded, Simonette claims he wasn't home at the time, suggesting neighbors are out to get him because of his political beliefs. They're mad because I'm that, and they're also mad because I'm bringing Latin, black, and white together. Miami-Dade police left just a short time ago, about 24 hours after the murder. Meanwhile, the shooter or shooters remain on the loose. Reporting in North Miami-Dade, Joel Waldman, CBS 4 News. Joe, thanks. And the county's Department of Regulatory and Economic Resources is now taking a close look at where the house party was held. The department enforces codes and regulations tied to buildings and structures and zoning.